Hello, my dear friends, English-speaking followers, clients, astrology lovers. Here is Olga Vasilchuk from sunny Costa Rica, and I would like to present you today uh, a video about the retrograde phase of Mercury in Aries, uh, which will last from March 22nd until April 15th, 2018. Actually, the loop of Mercury retrograde started already on March 8th, and it will last until May 3rd. And uh, this is another loop of Mercury in the element of fire in Aries, and it denotes the period of changes in the spheres of external action, of activity, external activity, of self-expression, and of opening of our potential to the outside world. During any loop of Mercury, we must learn, we are brought to learn new patterns, new ways of communication with the outside world, developing new skills or missing skills, and changing patterns of behavior. We are forced to do this by circumstances, by complex situations in which we find ourselves. And this allows us to understand that old models of behavior cannot take new challenges, cannot help us to take new challenges. During the loop of Mercury in Aries, we will learn to channel our energy in a new way, to achieve our goals otherwise, to defend our positions actively, communicating with the surrounding world. We may even have to struggle with other people and circumstances if crisis, critical situation force us to do so. I would like to remind you that Aries is the first sign of the zodiac and it corresponds to the beginning of the first stage of the universal cycle of evolution. It embodies individuality, strength, new ideas, independent action, but also rivalry, aggression, aggressivity, aggressiveness, and what is important here is to try not to create imbalance in the pursuit of renewal. Um, in the middle, at the middle point of the retrograde cycle and of the loop itself, Mercury is uh, on the closest distance from the Earth. Therefore, during this period, the principles of the planet are shown to the maximum in a concrete way in real affairs by bringing changes in the spheres which the planet is responsible for. So as far as Mercury is concerned, during the period of its loop and its retrograde movement, everything related to information, communication, exchanges, contacts, studies, travel, will be highlighted in our priorities. We may suddenly want to acquire a new uh, vehicle or a mean of communication, a computer or a cell phone, uh, to make a trip, to start learning something new. And it's exactly in these spheres that the results of changes will be most visible, but it's necessary to monitor what uh, mm, changes we make, uh, what changes we bring to the Mercurian, Mercurian spheres of life in order to avoid emissions and miscalculations, which has always negative consequences. So the loop of Mercury is the period of the end of the previous cycle and the beginning of a new cycle of realization of our plans. And any um, loop, or well, we're talking about the retrograde phase of Mercury and the loop of Mercury, is divided into two parts. The first half of the loop of the loop period lasts from March 8th to until April 1st. And by consequence, the first half of the retrograde phase lasts from March 22nd until the April 1st. The date of April 1st corresponds actually to the so-called inferior conjunction of Mercury and the Sun. Uh, it will happen during the night from April 1st to April 2nd. This is technically the beginning of a new cycle. That is the beginning of a new cycle of Mercury with, res with respect to the Sun. This is the conjunction of these two planets. New people, new ideas, circumstances can come into our lives before this date, of course. Simply by, by that day, the date, uh, they will already become the basis or at least a part of a new stage of our life. 
uh, so this period of a little more than three weeks, from March 8th until April 1st, uh, is the time to summarize the previous cycle, analyzing the results of the implementation of the past plans uh, and strategies, yes, or behavior. This is rather a difficult time when we are confronted to problems, misunderstandings, and slowing down in our affairs uh, to undesirable scenarios which only underscore that old patterns of behavior are not are no longer relevant. We have a chance to use this time constructively. So the period of the retrograde uh, of this decreasing phase of Mercury from March 8th until April 1st is suitable for the following uh, action. What we can do, what we should do. To complete all projects, to strike a balance, to get rid of useless ties, plans, patterns, or behavior. To find in the old cases, achievements, ties already tested, in the skills and experiences acquired in the past, what we can rely on in the future when establishing new ties and creating new projects. To make new projects in areas where we, are, we already had experience previously. To adapt past experience, knowledge and other tools to meeting new challenges and to finding new ways of solving old problems. To study, of course, to deepen existing knowledge and, of course, to acquire new knowledge. We must remain cautious about the following points. First of all, the most important point, we should not start anything radically new. It is necessary to respect schedules, settlements, and engagement conditions, the risk of confusion in dates, of uh, forgetfulness, of errors, of delays is very big. We should not charge others with our problems, because now everyone takes care of their own troubles and affairs and situations. To handle the means of communications and um, of communication and uh, of transport with care, they also complete their cycle of existence. Failures will happen very often. Despite the fact that during the period from especially March 30th until April 2nd, you know, these days close to the conjunction Mercury Sun, uh, we may feel an urgent need, we may have this urgent need to buy new equipment means of communication and uh, slash or transportation we must avoid this it's better to avoid this purchase or if we are absolutely if we absolutely need this um, to make this purchase uh, we need we needed to solve a very serious problem at least check all the details of the purchase it's also preferable to avoid signing agreements these days any misstep will result in undesirable consequences and the second half of the loop from April 2nd until May 3rd uh, contains, of course, the second half of the retrograde phase of Mercury from April 2nd until uh, April 15th. This is the period of emergence of new models of behavior, of new strategies in new circumstances, the time of the first steps, of first steps in a new direction. Uh, the moment of the transition, of transition to the new has remained behind. Now we must use the updated schemas and tools in new realities and in new conditions. Or we can talk here also about uh, the realization of old subjects in new forms. Mercury is still slow, especially uh, yeah, until uh, April 15th, 17th. So for now our affairs uh, will not evolve as fast as we would like them to. So, patience. How to use constructively uh, the growing or increasing phase, increasing phase of uh, Mercury, of the loop of Mercury, from April 2nd until May 3rd? First of all, this time is suitable for um, the following um, actions. What we can do to create, we can create new projects, plans, agreements sign new agreements and implement them in reality, especially at the moment when Mercury turns to its direct movement uh, when uh, between 13th and 16th. Okay? Uh, 
we can we should use new methods approaches and schemes for the solution of old problems we can create and we should create new conditions of life uh, we can improve knowledge use new knowledge learn new things explore unknown activities unknown fields of activities here also we have uh, we must remain cautious about the following points our system of adaptation and uh, that of the system of adaptation of the means of communication these systems are in the state of reload deep reload so there's a risk of errors and dysfunctions especially around the conjunction sun mercury from the first until the third the second and the third of april uh, the second point do not try don't try to set unrealistic goals uh, to assume too much especially in new activities of course we we must use uh, we can use new opportunities but remember that a beginner in a driving um, the day when he receives his driving license does not go immediately to the race track okay and let's underline uh, once again hi let's highlight the most important dates within the boundaries of the loop of mercury retrograde so march 21st 25th mercury is stationary retrograde it remains motionless turning to the retrograde movement and this will cause a stop in our affairs delays misunderstandings disruption of plans and it draws our attention to the fact that it's time to revise the old models of interaction with the world to change to start with adaptation to new conditions march 30th april 2nd the the middle point mercury is burnt or combust because it's formed a conjunction with the sun and this moment marks the beginning of a new cycle of mercury right and by by this moment we are supposed to have completely closed all cases the cases from the previous stage and to bring and to start bringing changes that the next step requires from us the deep reboot will affect systems of our relational thought as well as uh, the means of communication for this reason errors confusion failure our failure to respond adequately to external situations will be expected our uh, adequate reactions will, will will be weakened however this is a unique time a unique chance to create new content as the basis of the new cycle that's why this moment should be monitored as attentively as possible and uh, from april 13th until april 16th mercury is stationary direct its speed uh, is minimal before it turns towards the direct movement and at this point we should summarize the changes that we uh, that have just occurred and we start applying updated renewed uh, ideas to the practical reality all new steps and beginnings that are happening at this moment in our lives will have a tremendous and powerful progression during in the new uh, cycle of mercury now it's already possible and necessary we can do that to conclude carefully prepared agreements to launch sensible projects they will have enormous potential for evolution and maybe the last remark, the last uh, instruction, how to apply the um, transit of the Mercury retrograde that uh, occurs for all of us at the same time, right, to our specific particular situation, personal situation. We have to consider two parameters here. We have to see in the, our, you, we have to see in our birth chart what car, um, house of our chart is ruled by Mercury. For example, if we have the cusp of the 10th house of Midheaven in a, the sign of Virgo or Gemini, which these two signs are ruled by Mercury, well, in this case, Mercury will we say that Mercury rules our 10th house. So all these changes of uh, strategies of behavior, of uh, means of communication that I, I was talking about, will happen in the sphere of our 10th house.
of the 10th house, our career, social achievements, uh, professional realization. And the second parameter is that we have to see which house of our chart is transited by Mercury retrograde. Uh, Mercury will, f will move backward from the 17th degree until the 4th degree of Aries. So check uh, to what, uh, which house of a chart it corresponds, these degrees of the sign of Aries. And that means that uh, all of these changes that will occur in the sphere of the 10th house, changes uh, brought by retrograde phase of Mercury, these changes will provoke another rest uh, restructuring and uh, uh, other additional changes, for example, in the second house of your chart. If you have this, the cusp of the second house, maybe the beginning of Aries or the end of Pisces, so it can be in the middle of Pisces if the second your second house is big, large. So, uh, the, consequence, the, the, the consequences of the changes in career, of changes, of changes in career, will be restructuring changes, modifications in your financial sphere. For example, uh, a new source of income or the change of source of income. So you have to combine the meaning of the two houses. The house which is ruled by Mercury and the house that receives the transit movement of Mercury in your personal birth chart. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish to all of you good luck and talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.